Julie. Thanks so much for joining me today as I plan in my classic vertical happy planner for the week of April the 17th to the 23rd. Naturally it's going to be an Earth Day spread and I've had the idea for this one for quite some time. I bought the stickers a while back so I'm excited to finally be making it. I'm going to be using these lovely tulip stickers from Caitlin Plans watercolour tulips that I got as printables and I printed them out four to a sheet of A4 so that they're nice and small for what I want to do. This spread is also for our International Planner Collab theme on Instagram, which is love yourself, love your planet. And if that's something you're interested, check out my Instagram at Plans in the Making for all the details. You can join in anytime in April. First thing I need for this spread is the planet Earth. So let's get started. I've just grabbed a sheet of photocopy paper and something circular to draw around. And I can't believe I'm going to be drawing in my planner for the third week, I think it is, in a row. I think next week I will have to just try to stick stickers in a spread. But once again, I'm feeling quite inspired and creative. So I'm going to do this today. I've got a very old Whispers dual tip pen, so I'll be using the brush end and one of my Crayola Super Tips. So I'll just speed things up as I colour this in. Now I just need to cut it out. I think this is something fairly simple that even a beginner could attempt. And hopefully it's going to look really effective. I'll just go over the lines. And now let's get our planner pages. This is going to be another test of how well I get on with the pages in my new planner. Because they're not fully neutral, the colours may be an issue. I don't think I'm actually using this colour in my spread, but we may have to bring it in. Let's push the pages together. I need to stick it in the middle, but also right at the bottom. Now let's cut it. This is always a tricky bit, I find. So I wanted to use Caitlin stickers and have the flowers growing out of the earth and arrange them so that they're going all over around the world. I don't know if I've seen a particular planner spread like this or just pictures celebrating Earth Day. If I was aware of a particular spread that had inspired me, I would always give that person credit. I actually think the butterflies look really cute there and go with the flowers. And rather than white out all the lines, I'm just going to let it go this week. I printed these out on sticker paper, so I'm hoping that they will be easy to stick on. And I don't have a cutting machine, so I have fussy cut around them as close as I could. So time to take a sip of your cup of tea or coffee and watch the transformation. And that's done. And I think we should include this quote that came on Caitlin's sheet, the earth laughs in flowers, particularly at or Earth Day. I think I'll just put it here. And then maybe we can put a box here. 
And at this point, you may be thinking there's not a lot of room for function. But if you watched me last week, you may remember me saying that I don't have an awful lot to write in my planner. And as long as I've either got a box on each day or a checklist each day, then I should be fine. I don't know why, but I seem to always struggle with putting the boxes down. I'm thinking of sticking with the colours of the tulips, but I am wondering whether I should bring some green in as well. I think maybe we'll just stick with the colours of the tulips. Um, I want to do some overlapping of boxes. Then on this side, I'm not going to put this one here because it would be exactly the same as this side. So I'll probably turn it round. And I've chosen this colour because I don't want to have orange next to the orange. And I could put it here, but then we've got a gap and a gap. So I'll probably put this one up the top. I'm trying to explain my thinking as I place my boxes. These are just boxes that I've made myself. So they're rather plain. Am I going to be fussy and want to wipe that out? Maybe. Let's grab a pen. It's a little bit dark, so. Just using my Tipex mouse. Which isn't working very well lately. A little bit more. better. I put the double box on Friday and Saturday because this week I'll be doing most of my filming Friday and Saturday because I'm going out on Sunday and I've layered these before I've placed them down. I wondered if it might work better that way. I think probably I don't want two spaces here so something like that. Just going to use Live Love Posh's Functionally Chic Orange Blooms for the bullet points. So I'm wondering if you've done an Earth Day spread for this week. I always think it's a good idea if there's a particular celebration to base your spread around. In fact, I had so many different ideas for this spread. I was a little bit torn. I would have liked to have done three or four Earth Day spreads. I have a couple of pieces of news. One is that I've got hold of the Pooh sticker book and Tinkerbell sticker book, which is something that it's not always easy to do here in the UK. So I was really pleased about that. And the other exciting news is that I'm now a rep for Caitlin Plans stickers I'm using today. That's a bit of a coincidence because I'd planned to do this Earth Day spread for quite some time using these flowers but it's perfect timing because I applied and I was really pleased to find out that I had been successful. I had been thinking of applying last year but I really wanted the timing to be right and to make sure I'd got into a pattern with my YouTube channel so that I didn't get overwhelmed. As when I commit to something, I do tend to commit to it 100%. I don't know why that box isn't sticking down. And although I can just about live with this purple, light purple here and the butterfly, I really do think I'm going to have to cover up those bullet points as well. So I've never been a rep before and I'm excited to have the experience. I love that Caitlin draws her own stickers and I like to support small businesses. 
seeing as I know what it's like having my card shop on Folksy. You really do put your heart and soul into these sorts of things and so I can totally relate to any sticker shop owner. And it's such a crowded market like cards for me. There are so many sticker shops out there. I imagine it's really hard. So I'm going to give it my best shot. I've noticed something very strange about these bullet points. They are actually different sizes. I thought it was my eyes playing tricks on me, but they're not all the same size. Hopefully it's not too obvious because you know what a perfectionist or you may know if you've watched me before what a perfectionist I am. So hopefully it's not going to bug me. They are very tiny these so they're very fiddly. But I really do love how that looks. I'm glad now that I didn't bring green in at the top but it's looking a little bit plain because I've used plain boxes. So what I normally try to do is either add some washi or some decoration to the boxes just to make them that little bit different. I've got these little patterns that were on the sheet that Caitlin did. I was thinking maybe of putting them in between the flowers. As I don't really like how much white there is there or I don't know whether they would look a bit funny in the box. That's one possibility or even up the top between the numbers. And I'm aware I haven't brought any washi in. I've got the old grid washi as to whether I need to just add a pop of washi somewhere, either in the boxes or even under the boxes somewhere, but there's not a lot of room. Let's add a few headers. These will be a little bit too wide, so I'll need to do some trimming. Because the boxes that I make are slightly smaller than the Happy Planner boxes. And then we can make a decision about whether I need to add some more decoration or washi tape or something to the boxes. And just for balance one over on this side. And what I think I might do is just add a bit of faux stitching in some of the boxes. So maybe just to make them look a little bit different. I've done this before in spreads using this stitched effect. And I know that you can buy stickers that are like this. And of course I'll do one on the other side as well. And straight away that box looks different to the others. And maybe we'll do this one as well. I'm using my new Pentel Energel gel pens. I really love these. I did a pen test on them and found to my surprise that they smudged on Happy Planner note paper from Happy Notes. But actually they don't smudge at all and they haven't smudged once since that's typical of when you're doing a video to show whether the pens are working or not it doesn't always go to plan i didn't want it to come across and look as though they did smudge when they didn't but that's what happened but only on the happy planner happy notes paper i've got this gap here which i could put another box in but i think it would just look a bit box heavy over that side it's nicely balanced at the moment I think maybe if I just add a tiny bit of washi here and section it off and then I can write something in it. It might just stop it looking that little bit plain. And maybe one more piece at the top. And 
and then the question is whether I want to bring this washi in anywhere else on the spread as I haven't got any washi at all. Could bring it in across the top like that. Not sure about that. But now I feel like I've got yellow on this side and no yellow box areas on this side. If I can make a little box area maybe here. Let's try that. Just always need to balance things up. I'm not sure, so this may come off by the end of the video, but I think we'll leave it for now. And we are more or less done. Really love how it looks and I think it's going to look really good after the pen as well. I've got boxes on every day. I've got checklists as well, so there's lots of room for function. Love the decoration at the bottom. I always tend to overthink my spreads. I should put an Earth Day sticker on Earth Day. I have actually managed to find one. It's not a great match, although it matches with the blues and greens here. So I could just put it here, I think. And now we're done. I'm still not sure how I feel about using the pages that aren't neutral. I think I would have preferred the plain pages with no colour in the spine and the dates being black. But we'll see how long I can let it go before I revert back to using my old wild styled pages. Thanks for watching. And I think by the time you're seeing this video, Caitlin's April release will have gone live. So I'll make sure I put the details in the description so that if you want to take a look, you can find them. As a rep, I do have a discount code. You can get 15% off your order. No matter whether it's just one sticker sheet or several that you're ordering, if you use my code JULIE15, and I think there's also a small freebie, some extra stickers. There are loads of designs to choose from. It's not just spring stickers. There are sheets from all seasons. And of course, you can get them as printables if you're an international planner like me, or tangible stickers if you're one of the places that Caitlin ships to. All the details are there on her Etsy site. Hope you have a great week and can find some time if you've got a busy schedule to just look at the world around us and appreciate how wonderful it is. The birds in my garden have been singing so beautifully. I've just been standing and listening to them. And of course, all the tulips are growing. And we even had the most beautiful rainbow this week. Hope to see you again in the next video. Happy planning. Take care and see you soon.